I want, uh, uh, I am Arturo Rodriguez Morato from the University of Barcelona and the coordinator of this, uh, of this project of Horizon 2020. Uh, and I would like to, to welcome you here and to, to, to give you thanks uh, to all these, uh, particularly the, the stakeholders, name it the stakeholders, academic stakeholders, and uh, other stakeholders that uh, have uh, accepted the, the invitation and, uh, and, are, uh, and you are here for contributing uh, to, to this work. Um, well, uh, today uh, we are relatively few. I think that uh, tomorrow uh, there will be more people, not many more, but some, some more people. Uh, uh, I, I want uh, to, to exploit the, the opportunity to, to give thanks to the Fundación Esgae because they, they are very generous in uh, hosting us for this meeting uh, for free. Uh, really, it's, very, and it's a very pleasant place, really, and in a good location in the city. Mm, well, uh, I would like to say something, but not mm, uh, many things, not very long, uh, about the, the project all of you have received at the beginning in when you enrolled in, in this, uh, you committed to participate in the, in the meeting, some, uh, some scheme, uh, some uh, ideas uh, defining the, the project. Uh, uh, let me stress that this is, uh, uh, you know, that the, the, the goal, the, the aim, the basic aim of the project is to generate a, a research agenda uh, for, the, for this uh, European program for research that n now uh, more and more is involved uh, in, uh, in researching uh, cultural issues, on cultural heritage, uh, cultural identities, uh, diverse identities, uh, cultural production and expression, etc., etc. This is our goal, and the, the, the tool for uh, developing this is uh, through uh, uh, what is named uh, social platform. A social platform, it, this is something that has been used in, in other fields uh, already in a few times, no, not very usual in the social sciences and humanities, but more in, in other sciences. Uh, and consists uh, in, a, in a dialogue uh, between uh, the academics, uh, between some academics and uh, people involved in the field, involved in the practice, uh, policy makers related with uh, issues in, uh, in this field, etc. This is, uh, so this is very important uh, for us and uh, in this project is expected to have different uh, meetings where we could exchange uh, in different ways because this is a process that will change the, uh, progressively will change the, 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 the issues to discuss and the, the, the formats of the, of the works or the ideas or the, the issues to, to discuss. But it's, uh, it is very important to incorporate this um, or to generate uh, together, really, uh, this uh, focus of research for the future. Uh, the academic part of the, of the project is made by a consortium, afterwards I will uh, refer to, to the consortium uh, and uh, I will invite uh, my partners to introduce themselves uh, to you. Um, we expect a lot and we, we want to, to find a way really to, uh, uh, to, to, to develop and to offer something that uh, could be relevant for you that uh, you find interesting and you find relevant and, and to get your 
reactions and to, uh, uh, to take them into account in this const building of, the, of this uh, agenda, research agenda. Uh, the project I said a moment ago is, is, is a process that starts more or less now with a first phase uh, when we we have you you have uh, uh, the, the the results of that we have worked quite hard <laughs> on some producing some uh, some papers some reviews uh, quite extensive reviews on uh, different uh, parcels different parts of the of the large field uh, that we cover in this in this project and each partner has uh, has taken uh, the responsibility to to develop uh, one piece in in this uh, in each of these thematic fields as you know that is part of our architecture of of, of this uh, work and um, apart from this, uh, we have, and I want to thank you very much to the academic stakeholders that uh, uh, have uh, been prepared in a very, very short time to contribute, to make a contribution that we thought it was important to uh, complement the, uh, the papers and the, the coverage that the, the partners of the core um, uh, research team uh, uh, were working on. Uh, so we produced this uh, basic, uh, uh, these basic reviews uh, that we want. We pretend that this serve as a base for uh, for um, starting a, a discussion that is uh, in this workshop. It's a discussion that will pass uh, first uh, in, the, in the immediate sessions, the first sessions, the academic sessions, by a moment of uh, uh, reviewing the, the, the extensive list of uh, issues uh, and problems and, uh, that uh, are uh, in, the, in the papers, but uh, immediately to now, uh, your first impressions. I refer now to the uh, other stakeholders that not uh, that uh, you don't have uh, produced the papers, and, and we want to to know your impression about this. And then uh, next day uh, tomorrow we will have uh, other sessions focused on uh, on the views of the of the, these uh, the stakeholders, the practitioners, and policy makers, and people related to the, to the field. Uh, and, uh, and we want to uh, confront more freely your views uh, on the more relevant issues. Uh, and then the, the, the process ends in a conclusive, a con some conclusive sessions where we try, uh, this is the goal of the meeting, we try to select finally uh, a small list of uh, topics for our work uh, in the second phase. Mm, you have the, the program, uh, and, uh, and I think, well, the program is a little bit uh, <laughs> hard to read, probably. Uh, it's complicated a little bit, but uh, we try to make things uh, as clear as possible in order that uh, everybody could know uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, what is expected to, to contribute in, in a specific time. But apart from this order uh, the, of the program, uh, I invite you to freely uh, improvise to uh, on, on this uh, in order to have a, a free and dynamic uh, dialogue. That is what uh, we want to have. Well, um, having said this, I have explained it in fact what is the, uh, the first phase of, of our uh, project because uh, with, with this, uh, uh, when we finish this, uh, this meeting, we will complete uh, uh, 
uh, what is uh, mm, the, the first uh, decision to take that is uh, to to focus in some uh, in the main in main issues that we must uh, look more in depth uh, afterwards this is um, more or less the the uh, the interest and the the, the the meaning of this phase. Afterwards, we will have a, a second part of the of the work, and uh, uh, in fact, uh, I am in charge of developing this first part or leading this first part. And uh, uh, Gerard Delanti uh, here, uh, a partner of the of the team. Uh, is in charge of uh, leading the second part, so I, I, I would invite him to, to say something about this phase. Yeah, well, thanks very much. Uh, also, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Gerard Delante. I'm a sociology professor at Sussex University in, in Brighton, in England, and I work um, with my colleague here, Jasper Schalfrest. Do you want to indicate yourself? Uh, we're working together and leading the um, second phase of, of the uh, of the project, which begins now and runs roughly up until around about next May. Um, may I first of all say that Arturo has done a tremendous job in organising and, and, and planning uh, this um, workshop, which uh, is certainly not uh, uncomplicated, um, but I, I'm sure it will be tremendously successful. And um, the, the organisation of the project of the workshop feeds directly into the uh, part of the project that um, I'm going to lead on, uh, which in brief outline is, is this what we want to uh, generate from the workshop meeting uh, that we're going to have these days is uh, approximately around about 12 topics. We're calling them thematic areas. We want to identify 12 topics. And these topics will uh, seek to do two things. Uh, they will seek to identify new areas of, of research uh, that's relevant to issues of heritage and identities and uh, to explore how uh, those areas of research, both existing and new areas, uh, can inform policy makers, can inf inform policy making. Uh, that's what we want to do. And the organisation of the workshop is um, intended to uh, produce uh, those um, thematic areas which are not preconceived. Uh, so uh, we do want to work quite hard to identify uh, what might be 12 interesting uh, topics. And uh, the way in which we're going to do it, I, I hope it's reasonably clear from what you've read and what Arturo what has said, but roughly summarised is the six uh, academic papers that hopefully uh, will have been read by most of you, will be uh, discussed with uh, the aim of um, uh, identifying the preliminary questions, uh, which will be explored further in the quite crucial uh, sessions tomorrow. And in a third step, uh, we'll uh, hopefully arrive at some conclusions on, on Friday as to what uh, these 12 areas are. And then uh, we produce papers which will be ready sometime early in the new year. We haven't got a specific date yet. The latest date uh, for the delivery of these papers will be the conference uh, to be held in Barcelona in May. Uh, but of course, we do want to have them ready much earlier so that they can be fully di digested by everyone involved. And uh, these papers will be uh, discussed at the conference which will be organised by Interans, by Mercedes, who's uh, going to lead on that. But the six academic partners, and we are altogether seven partners with Interans, will inform the, 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 um, the, the, uh, the, the conference, the details of which we have yet to work out, but we've already had a preliminary uh, meeting, a preliminary meeting this morning on how to, how to um, organize that meeting, that conference, and um, I suppose that's pretty much what I have to say. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you, Gerard. 
So um, on the other hand, I had in mind that it, it, it could be good. I insisted that in this project is very important and central the participation and the dynamic of dialogue with between academics and uh, uh, stakeholders, uh, this idea of a social platform. And uh, as you may know, uh, we have in the, in, in the consortium of the project uh, one person and one institution that is in charge of this relation and uh, the dynamic of this dialogue in this sense and it's uh, Interars, uh, Mercedes Giovinazzo is uh, there as director of Interars. Uh, so I, I, I would invite you to, to say something about the, the idea of mobilizing this, uh, uh, this dialogue. Thank you. Um, is it working? Yes. No? Can you hear me? Yes, good afternoon everybody. My name is Arturo Hasseres Mercedes Giovinazzo. Um, I work at InterArts, which is a small uh, NGO based here in Barcelona. We do basically uh, research, applied research on cultural policies and also a lot of um, design and management coordination of projects in the area of uh, cooperation towards development, always through the angle of uh, culture. We have, we were called into this consortium about a year and a half ago by uh, our colleague Arturo Rodriguez Morato from the University of Barcelona. I guess that because he thought that we could pitch in from a technical point of view with our experience into the design, coordination and management of an essential part of the project uh, which should accompany the project, which is the management of the stakeholder community. Um, we did a preliminary work when drafting the proposal, which was to identify a core group of uh, operators in the cultural sector that we knew we could count on in contributing towards the development of the project. And some of you are here either today or will be here tomorrow. Actually, there's, I think, 11, 17, sorry, of them, here, of you here today and tomorrow and Friday. Um, our idea uh, was, as Arturo has said, because it is a requirement of the typology of the project that we're going to implement and develop all together, that the project enables for a process of exchange, debate, and building of a shared and consensuated research and policy agenda at the end of these two years. It is very ambitious. Um, two years, it's 24 months. I mean, one can do some of the work, but possibly not everything that maybe one imagines at the beginning. But anyway, in these 24 months, uh, the stakes are high because, again, this collective group of academics and practitioners, which is, in a sense, also practitioners in the widest sense possible of the term, should work together jointly towards the definition of this research and policy agenda. Um, as has been explained, there will be a series of activities more oriented towards the uh, study and identification of crucial elements. And contemporarily, there will be the exchange and debate with the practitioners. How are we going to do this? Um, basically, in two ways. Uh, from a very simple point of view, every project that uh, wishes to be respected needs a website. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Websites can be more or less uh, interesting, more or less user friendly. We have done right now, and it is already available online, the first part of our work, which is um, designing the basis for the website of the project. If you uh, type www.culturalbase.eu, you will access the um, website. The website is um, possibly, and let me put it very clearly, quite simple quite simple and it has been wanted that way because it has to be also a repository of what is going to be produced in the framework of the project. So it fulfills a certain number of objectives. One, the visibility, but also second, the possibility of explaining and 
publishing what will be produced in the framework of the project. This is for the public part. Then there will be annexed to this website, and this is the work that we're currently doing right now, a um, open source platform which will have a certain number of levels of um, accessibility for the consortium, which is, has been said is composed of seven organizations, for the Academics Advisory Board, which is another group of interlocutors for the consortium and the project, then for the community of practitioners, another part of the stakeholders, and finally for the public at large if we deem it necessary. Basically, what we're going to enable for is the sharing of documents, the communication, the debate through a series of um, tools that are in the platform. It's uh, Skype, it's chat, it's uh, possibly um, uh, archiving documents on iCloud. Everything that you can imagine that is usually used will be in that platform. How we will um, animate this platform is the main challenge that lies beforehand. And in this sense, we're fully aware that, as I said at the beginning, this project is a social platform. That is partly, let's say, one of the objectives that is required to be fulfilled from the contracting authority, our funder, which is the European Commission. Because as far as we understand, the, Euro the European Commission, excuse me, aims at exactly that, enabling a discussion, debate, work together between communities uh, of people, professionals involved in the cultural sector that do not necessarily usually talk to each other nor work together. And that is a main issue. That is something that, as Jared was saying earlier, we have discussed also this morning how we should, of course, make, let's say, public and visible the concrete outputs and deliverables of the project. But on the other hand, how are we going to enable for this uh, joint work to be carried out and that it feeds in in a process that has a certain number of, let's say, um, uh, high points, high peaks during its implementation. One is this workshop now. The second uh, main activity is the conference in 2016, but there will be other workshops, there will be policy seminars, etc. As regards the conference, we can say, if you allow me, Arturo, yes. that the conference will take place here in Barcelona in May 2016 from 11 to 13 May, and that again the consortium is um, already starting to work on imagining what the design of the workshop could be, uh, sorry, of the conference could be for it in order also to um, enable for an, a working environment that can help this preparation of this joint research and policy agenda. I don't know if I forgot anything, but you will tell me. No, no, I think this, the, the important things are said. And uh, now I think that uh, uh, perhaps it's, it's the good time for, for the rest of the partners to introduce themselves to, to, to all of you. Uh, so if you, if you agree, uh, Philip, do you, you want to how say? Can I, how can I refuse? Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'm luckier than Philippe. Jean-Louis Fabiani. I'm professor at CEU, Central European University in Budapest. A very inter interesting place also uh, <laughs> these days. And I work with uh, Gabriela Nasser Suleiman Gabriel, who is a postdoc from uh, the University of Aix-en-Provence, a specialist of 
um, uh, liberal Islam, among other things, and we uh, are very pleased to have joined this team. Okay, uh, Dominique Poulot, I am a professor in uh, Université Paris 1, uh, Paris 1, uh, Panthéon Sorbonne, as they said, and uh, I teach in uh, art history department, and uh, my research is about cultural history of art. Okay. Anna? Next victim. I have a strong voice, but I'll use the microphone. I'm Anna Trienda Felido. I come from the European University Institute in Florence, Italy. And together with my colleague, Sabrina Marchetti, we are responsible, together also with Jean-Louis Fabiani and the CEU team, on the area of identity and inclusion or exclusion, how inclusionary or how exclusionary European identity can be, what is the relationship between diversity and identity. And we very much look forward to the pro to this uh, workshop and also to the overall project, hoping we can inform the European uh, agenda for future research. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, you, can, you yes. should introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Antonio well. Gucciardo, General Manager of Interas Foundation. Uh, I'm working with Mercedes uh, in this project. Uh, and uh, Interas, like uh, say Mercedes, is a, a little agency that's working in the fields of international cooperation in the fields of culture. And uh, we work uh, in, the, in the consortium to develop the part of the management of stakeholders and the development of social platform. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, I think that uh, now I, I should say something about the the collaborators that I have here uh, and that have been uh, essential for the organization of all this. And uh, first of all, is Matthias Sarlenga, who is there. Uh, also, uh, Rocio Nogales, who is there. And you will see them uh, along the, the program in different roles and different uh, questions. Jordi Alomar, there. and. Uh, I don't see uh, here, probably is they are outside, uh, Marta Casals and Ricardo Klein, and I think, <laughs> sorry, ah, they are there. So you, you now all of us, and I if you have any, any question, any, any doubt, uh, any problem, you, you already know to who you can ask. Um, well, uh, I think this is uh, this is all by now. Is uh, you 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 know that uh, today we have is the the only part of the program that we divide in three different uh, rooms. Uh, there will be two sessions uh, after. Uh, one is this one, uh, and there are uh, another is very, very close, very near. And uh, the third one is uh, the second floor. Well, uh, I think this is the, the, uh, the important things that uh, I wanted to, to say. So thank you again for, for, having, for being here, for coming. And I hope that you all enjoy this, uh, this meeting and these uh, debates. Okay, thank you. Well, now there is a coffee break and, uh, and then we start the sessions. Uh, I hope that uh, at, the, at, the, at each session, I will invite, of course, uh, all of you to introduce yourself. I, I didn't want to do now because you are not all here, uh, but you will have the, the opportunity. Thank you. Okay. Ah, bueno. Vale. O sea, que lo diciendo. <laughs> 